Hello, I'm back. As you can see, I have a frozen thawed right here, and Abigail is aware of it, and she's wanting to come out to get it. If you could, remember to please like, share, and subscribe, comment, and hit those notification bells. That way, you'll be notified any time that I put up any content. I do have a couple additions coming next week, and they're a surprise, and I really want to show you all the unveiling, and I'm looking forward to it anyways right now she's coming for it and I'm gonna go toward her but I'm not gonna let her just grab it yet I'm gonna make her come for it put it on the drag it down here on the bottom move it around look at her look at this she's ready she ain't playing games she knows what this is about Come on, girl. You got this. She's eyeballing it. Ooh, man, she jumped out of the enclosure. I was not wanting her to get that just yet. I wanted to exhibit her hunting skills, but that did not work out. She, from what the camera shows, it looks like it was about four inches. It was not. It was about eight inches away from her. And she struck out and grabbed it that grabbed it that quick. I'm gonna just continue that way. You all can see the process. If you're if anybody's new or interested in how snakes swallow their prey, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we'll see. And don't forget that I'm also giving away a prepaid Visa card for $50 once I reach 300 subscribers. And it's just as a thank you and a courtesy for viewing my channel and being there for me and supporting me. That means more to me than anything. I'll always do things like that to help support the community that's supporting me. I'm just doing this for educational purposes anyways, not that I'm a ball python or snake uh, professional, but I know what's best for my snakes and that's what I do for them. And don't forget, I have two unveilings coming next week, looking super forward to doing those, really excited about it. I guarantee you that you all will love them. I'm just gonna say I have a male and a female. That's all I'm saying. Other than that, well, I will show this. I've already got one enclosure going. The next one's gonna be started on tomorrow. Anyways, let's get back. Natural instinct for a ball python or any snake is to squeeze their prey until they feel like they're satisfied with it not moving anymore or anything like that what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these tongs and i'm going to mimic i'm going to go ahead and grab it by its tail and act like do a mimic like it's still alive so that way she'll apply more pressure to it and she'll still think it's alive by me doing this and she'll squeeze longer So she is a normal, but she is a normal het clown. So I'm going to use her as a breeder in the future. I don't want to breed. That wasn't my intentions, but I'm curious as to make sure or to see if she really is het clown. The only way to find out is to breed her. And I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be probably, I mean, she's not even... Uh, four months old so it'll be a couple years anyways before I'll be able to do that anyways let's continue watching I'll try to give you a different angle here it's gonna be shadowed because of all the stuff on top and everything but as you can see she's got the death grip on it
if you hear water trickling in the background, if you've made it this far, it's my aquarium. They evaporate over time. You just have to, if you have an aquarium, you know this, you have to add water. It's just part of it. So I'm gonna do that probably later on today or tomorrow sometime to get that noise out. <clears throat> Maybe one day I'll showcase the aquarium. It's 120 gallon. I may actually take the fish back to a pet store and turn it into another enclosure. It's six feet long, uh, 24 inches tall, and uh, 20 inches wide, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Ain't that neat? Look at those on her side right there. It looks like alien heads. That is so cool. And look at her patterns on her back. she's really squeezing down on this this is a weaned rat and I want to give a shout out to rodent pro if you all are in the market for looking for rats mice anything as feeders definitely check out rodent pros website and I highly recommend them these rats are great size quant and you get a great quantity for the price 25 bucks and you get I believe it's a uh, it well it depends on the size the rat pups are 30 something dollars and then the uh, wean that I got that was roughly around 40 it's a uh, it's a good deal if you go to look my local pet store to get rat pups is seven dollars and twelve cents a piece so it's cheaper They deliver them wrapped up. They're in a box. They're uh, wrapped wrapped in like a insulation type ordeal that's in plastic, or you know the insulation's in plastic, and it's shipped with dry ice, and it keeps them cold and ready to be stored in the freezer. And then when you're ready to feed, just unthaw it. I I just put mine in uh, a little bowl and put it put it in a ziploc bag and then i run hot water over top of it and with her usually they say to have the, the rat around uh, rat or mouse around 100 degrees 90 to 110 as long i mean with her i can literally just put that rat in there i don't care if it's 70 degrees as long as the guts are, fro are, are unfrozen I always and double check that too if you ever unfreeze one make sure you feel of it i don't care how gross you think it sounds or what but you got to make sure that nothing is cold internally do not put them in the microwave either they will explode i want to point that out but anyways with her it does i mean like this rat's been thawed out for a little bit it wasn't probably, I didn't check the temperature on it. I didn't have to check the temperature because I knew she was going to get it anyways. It doesn't matter what the temperature is. She's going to grab it. But like I said, keep in mind that if you feel any cold in it whatsoever, keep unthawing it. And then you will get to that point where it's nice and warm all the way through. And then you're golden. Some snakes are picky eaters too. They will not eat frozen thawed. They will only eat live. She will do both. She has no problem. I've tried feeding Vader frozen thawed. He would not take them. So she got quite a few snacks because you can't refreeze them either. I just went on ahead and since they were smaller and just fed her those and I, I bought him a live mouse. It, he was terrified of it. I guess where he was new <clears throat> and just adapting to everything he didn't want to mess with it so and i didn't want it pissing and crapping everywhere so i took it out and put it in there with her and there's a video on my page that you can see where she grabs it i can't remember if it's a short or if it's an actual video i have no idea you just have to go back and look i'm gonna pause this for a minute so 
I don't, I don't bore you all that way. I can get to the part where she's ready to start scarfing down. Ten minutes later, and we're still in the same process. Let's see how much longer it's going to take. It's been another five minutes. I guess me wiggling on that tail made it where she thought it was still going. In all reality, it was already dead to begin with. Let's continue. 23 minutes later, and she's finally going to eat it. Well, I guess you're not going to see her eat it. She's taking it into her hide. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going to I'm not going to lift her hide up to finish this off anyways I, I just wanted to show you her striking it I wanted it I, wa I actually wanted her to follow me across the enclosure with it but she got too impatient and just grabbed it so anyways on that note I'm out thank you all peace out